guys, how's it going? Welcome to my YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a picture of my new light and kind of teased that I was going to finally be starting this channel. And so here I am. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just learning how to use all this equipment. I tried to make this cute little backdrop the other day, um, but I really wanna invite you along on this journey with me so that we can all learn and grow together. So today I'm going to start off with something very simple, very easy, and very near and dear to my heart. Simple, lazy person makeup. We're gonna be doing a look with just five products in hopefully five minutes. It'll probably be a little longer because I'm gonna talk you through it. But my purpose here is really to start to normalize that regular natural makeup is beautiful too and really try to let people know that you don't have to really wear a full face of makeup everywhere you go every single day and I want to teach you how to make the most out of the products you have. So with that being said, let's get started. Today I'm going to use my Shiseido Synchro Skin Long Lasting Liquid Foundation. That's a long name. The reason I went with this is because it's a more matte foundation. So it's gonna allow me to kind of stick with the theme and take out the step of powdering because this is, like I said, more of a matte long wearing foundation versus if I go for something that's on the dewier end, I'm gonna have to powder that. So again, I chose this so that I can skip the step of powdering and stick with the theme. So I didn't include brushes in my five products, but I did try to keep it very minimal on the brushes because um, you don't need a thousand brushes to get a good look. So I'm gonna go in with my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush. Now this brush is very dirty because this is the third time I'm filming this video today, but I will not fail. So let's try this again for the third time and I'm gonna go into this foundation, just pack it onto the top of the brush and start working in circular motions on my face. Now you'll notice that this foundation is a little on the yellow side and I do that because I have a lot of redness in my skin as you can see. And when you go for a more of a yellow foundation that cancels out a lot of the redness and it prevents you from having to use one of those green kind of primer color correctors which even, even if I wasn't trying to minimize my products, it's not really a product I tend to go for. Um, I find that using those kind of green uh, correctors really just tend to make my skin look very like pale and sad. And I would much rather just go in with a foundation that's more yellow to counteract the redness of my skin. So as you can see, you know, this foundation has already made, this one layer of foundation has already made a big difference. And I also, I like this foundation also because it is very, um, the texture is very thin. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's very watery. It's not a heavy matte foundation like something like maybe the, um, the Huda foundation or the, um, the double wear foundation that's a really full coverage, very thick um, matte foundation. This has a nice skin-like texture, but I will say with this that I really have to moisturize my skin before I go into the foundation like this because it will, because it's matte, it will tend to stick to any, you know, grab onto any dry skin. Um, so before I started this video, I really went in and I used some hydrating toner. I used a nice hydrating, a, a thick moisturizer, and I also sprayed my face with some Fix Plus just to kind of give it that boost of hydration. Today, I don't have any dark circles because I got a lot of sleep. So that's another step that I can skip. Um, so typically, if I've had you know a rough night, or I have any sort of dark circles under my eyes, I would go in with maybe a peach or a pink toned concealer before I do my foundation, and that's just gonna counteract any of the blue. Um, but because I'm trying to stick with the theme of five products, um, I'm just gonna go in with this Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in shade light. This is more of a brightening, uh, highlighting concealer, and it's nice and hydrating. So I'm gonna just take a little bit under my eyes. Maybe in the high points of my face just to add some dimension. 
Now you'll notice I didn't take my highlighter all the way down the tip of my nose because I have uh, more of a wide nose down at the base and I don't really want to draw any attention there. You see sometimes people put in that dot of highlighter right on the tip of their nose. I really just want to draw my eye, everyone's eyes away from the tip of my nose because uh, it's not my favorite. So highlighting up here will just highlight kind of the bone structure that's, that is up here, the more narrow part of my nose and hopefully make people look there instead. So I'm going back in with the same brush for these bigger places. And you could use the same brush for under the eyes, but I do really like this superhero brush by It Cosmetics. It's the 4-in-1 um, Eye Transforming Super Shadow and Liner Brush, but I really like to use this for concealer. It's nice and fluffy, and it just kind of, I like to use a light hand kind of tap and buff the concealer in. Take it down in kind of this triangle shape which kind of lifts and brightens the face. Okay, so that's foundation and concealer done. Now this is the step where you would go in and powder, but again, because it's more of a matte foundation, I don't necessarily need to go in and powder it, and again, I'm trying to stick with the theme, so I'm going to skip powder today. Um, I am going to take and press just a little bit, just so that I make sure that my concealer is really melted in with my skin, it kind of makes it safe for me to skip that step. Okay. So, this third product, I cheated a little bit, but not really. It's a palette. So, I really have four products in one in this palette, but if you're someone that's trying to minimize your collection, and if maybe you travel a lot and you don't want to have to carry this big, huge makeup bag, getting something like a palette is a great idea. So, I can really do, like, most of my the entire rest of my face with, with this palette, and so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back in with another It Cosmetics brush. I really love these brushes. Um, the shape of this brush is very helpful for blending. So this tapered kind of fluffy brush, you put the product here on the tip, and all of this around here does the blending for you. So, you know, if you have something that's more a smaller brush, you're going to have to work a lot harder to make it look natural. Whereas for this, it, just, it really just does the work for you. So I'm going to dip into this bronzer, which is pr it's pretty dark bronzer, so I'm going to be very light-handed with it. And we're going to just work in circular motions, really light hand. And I'm not really going for a contoured look. I'm just kind of looking to warm up the face a little bit here. Take it on the jawline. On the neck just a little bit. So now that you're feeling warmed up, if you want to go in and do a little bit of a contour, you don't need another product and you don't need another brush. You can take this fluffy brush, squeeze the tip, go back into that bronzer lightly, and work it in your cheekbone. I think we've all been conditioned that we need this huge stash of makeup and all of these different products when really like you can just get away with using five or six products and come away with a beautiful natural look. The blush in this palette is pretty bright and I'm not a super huge blush person but again I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush and just tap it in there really gently and then I'm going to just tap the blush on my cheeks. Kind of coming at the apples of my cheek here and working up a little bit. So that's just got like a nice kind of healthy like pinch to your cheek. I'm now going to go in just mix these two highlighters here and work that in the same spot that I just put my blush, concentrating higher on the cheekbone. You can go ahead and take a little bit just on the bridge of your nose. Again, I don't want to highlight any farther down because I don't want to bring attention to my nose. And that's the skin done. You can kind of hit above your eyebrows too if you want. That gives a very nice uh, effect when the sun hits you. 
So I'm gonna go in now with my fourth and final brush. It kind of has a similar vibe to this big fluffy brush. I really like brushes that are shaped in this way where they're kind of, they taper at the top and then they're fluffy because again, it does all the work for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip back into the bronzer from this palette here at the tip of my brush and I'm gonna, as I blend, these bristles are gonna do really all the work for me. And I just want like a very natural definition to my eye. I'm not going for anything crazy. I just want to, because I concealed um, my eyelid with that foundation, I want to just bring some life back to it. So we're going to just dip back into this bronzer and start working this right in our crease. Really light handed. And I like to do work in thin layers. I'm then going to take my finger well, this figure, but I don't want to flick you off. And I'm going to mix it in each of these highlighting shades, and I'm just going to place it right on my eyelid. And then I'm going to take this less pink shade and kind of hit right in the inner corner. Just wake everything up. Something else you can do, which is a really nice look, is to just dip into the tiniest amount of your blush and also work that into your crease a little. It just kind of gives a really nice cohesive glow, glowing look to your look, if that makes any sense. Just bringing all the colors kind of together, it just looks like a more complete thought out look without really adding much more work. So very subtly, just add a tiny bit of your blush right into the, right into the crease over that bronzer. That's our eyeshadow done, guys, super easy. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I like this L'Oreal Voluminous because it's the best. I mean, I could go to Sephora and spend 30 or 40 or $50 on a high-end mascara, but for me, I would much rather spend that money on something that's a little more unique, like maybe splurge in a skincare product that I wouldn't usually buy, or like a really special, like this palette. Um, to me, like I found that the drugstore, many of the drugstores, especially this L'Oreal um, mascara, just work amazingly. So, like, why am I going to spend the extra money for a designer brand? And I'll tell you what, like most makeup artists have this in their kit, anyways. So, I'm just going to go in here and work it from the base. And what I like to do is kind of wiggle it at the base. And what that will do is actually add product kind of to your waterline and that's basically going to tight line and take the place of an eyeliner. I'm also going to take a little bit of mascara on the bottom. And of course everyone has to open their mouth when they do their bottom mascara. I tried not to just now. But I couldn't not do it. And don't be afraid to like kind of go hard on mascara. Like sometimes I'll hit like two or three coats and that's totally fine, especially if I'm going to be skipping um, eyeliner. This is my fifth and final product. And it took me a long time to appreciate the value of filling in my eyebrows. Normally I would skip the pencil when I'm in a rush or feeling very lazy and just go for a tinted brow gel. I really love the Glossier. Um, boy brow it's a great product but I ran out so I'm going like slightly higher maintenance and I'm gonna go in with this pencil and fill my brows in but I like this pencil because of the shape so this is the benefit goof proof brow pencil and if you can see it has this very uh, kind of fat rectangular shape to it and I like it because it really just goes very quick. Also the texture, see I already drew on my hand from the last video. The texture is very um, waxy, so it's good because you kind of have to work it in a little bit. It's not so creamy that it's just gonna go everywhere and then slip off of your face. So the shape and the texture and the color especially is really good for this brow pencil. And it's uh, the shade too, and it's, it's pretty universal, it's pretty taupe. So I'm going to go in and we're not going to fill our brows in like Instagram. I'm not going to square them off in the front. I'm just going to focus on filling in where they're pretty sparse. I have kind of really small eyebrows. So just filling in the bottom a little bit. I have some holes in my brow. Really coming up and concentrating on this arch. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to extend 
the tail just a tiny bit because you want your eyebrow to go from start at the inner corner and end at the outer corner. And the reason I really come to love filling in my brows is because it gives this really, not only does it frame the face, but it gives this really like youthful look. When you're young, you have these like really careless, bushy brows. And as we age, we kind of start to lose that. We start plucking, we start waxing, we just start losing hair and getting hair in other places. Um, and filling in your brows in like a tasteful way really adds a youthful look to your face. But it takes a while to get used to seeing yourself with your brows filled in. So if you watch this video and you're like, oh, let me try filling in my brows and you hate it, just stick with it for like a week and see how you feel after a week. Because it really does change, you know, it frames your face out, it really does change how you see yourself and it just might take a second for you to get used to seeing yourself in that way. Again, I'm extending my brow just a little bit. You don't wanna pull it down too far because then that's gonna pull your face down. So you really wanna make sure you just keep it, you know, inner corner, outer corner. And don't go too far in. I know that was a thing on Instagram for a minute where like everyone was like really squaring off their brows and like getting them very close because it looked very exotic. Um, but I just think it looks so unnatural unless your brows really do go that far in. You know, if I was gonna add in, you know, another quarter inch to my brow, that's just, anyone looking at me is gonna know that that's a pencil. So I'm not exotic, unfortunately, and my brows just are what they are, so I'm going to work with what I have. Um, when you're done, take this little spoolie end and just comb through what you did, just to keep everything looking very, very natural. So guys, this is it. This is five products, five minutes. Um, you know, we've got a foundation, a palette that's got some blush, some highlighter, and some bronzer. We've got eyebrow, concealer, and mascara. And we did it with four brushes. It's so easy to do this look, and I think it looks so natural. And to me, I think it's so sexy to see a woman that's comfortable in her skin, that's tastefully made up, but you can see her natural beauty shining through. And that's really what I wanna to try to do here on my channel. Of course, there will be times when I see a look in a magazine that I say, oh, I have to do that. But what I really wanna to try to focus on here is bringing back natural beauty and normalizing again that it is okay to wear, you know, a tasteful amount of makeup and not feel like you necessarily have to compete with everyone on the internet that's, you know, going full glam all the time. You know, it's nice to pick and choose your moments. That way it has way more impact when you do go full on glam. Let me know what you think and like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And keep hanging out with me here. You know, let me know what you're interested in knowing and learning and we can grow this channel together. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope, hope you took away some valuable knowledge about you know, what products are important to have in your core uh, kit. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.